Hello. So, today's video is going to be a little autumn haul. So, I don't have much to show you, to be honest, because I haven't brought much this year. I haven't decorated yet. I live in the UK and we don't tend to decorate as quick as Americans. Um, and this year I wanted to keep things quite basic and just quite autumnal. So obviously we have pumpkins, pumpkins up here, a few other pumpkins down here, but I wanted to keep it very autumnal and orange and brown and cutes instead of like really Halloween-y or taggy Halloween. I've done that a few times. I've done just that. I've done a mixture of cute autumnal bits and tacky Halloween. But this year I wanted to keep it really simple. So I have only brought a couple of things. However, I'm going to show you some of the other things that I'm going to use that I already own like these which I totally forgot I had these these are from last year I can't remember if these were B&M's I think they were and they are candles but I obviously have not and will not use them as candles they are nice little metallic pumpkins. I'm not sure where I'm going to pop them. The microphone is over here, so if you see me leaning more to this side, that is why. Um, yes, I'm not sure where I'm going to pop them. I might put them in my room, which this is my bedroom. Um, just because I do plan on watching quite a few films in bed and I don't want to go over the top Halloween in just the bedroom but I would like to put a few things up so I may pop these in here or I may not I have something else that I might use in here but these are rather cute don't really like them. Very different, very cutesy. All my Halloween stuff is just over here so you'll need to excuse me if I go out of shot while I grab some other bits. Okay so these are the other things I might use in my bedroom instead which are these cutesy little knitted pumpkins. I actually knitted all by myself. <laughs> this one is missing a little um, stalk. I'm not sure what, what you would call that. Is it stalk? Whatever. But it's missing its own little twig. Um, it must be lost somewhere in the box, the Halloween box, which is very large. But I like these. These are very, very cute. Like I say, I knitted these by myself a few years ago and I have used them every year since. They're not perfect but I like the fact that they are more rustic and not perfect. And I think these are cute. These kind of look really cute when you pop them on the side. So yeah, I think I might use these in my room, keep it more subtle. Um, instead of in your face. And I will need to find another little twig for this guy. <laughs> Look at the state of this pumpkin. It's a bit of a mess, but never mind. I personally made it so it's special. So 
so yes these are what we have also to decorate with something else that I have made all by myself this year was or is these paper pumpkins so I saw this idea can't remember if it was Instagram, Facebook, I'm not sure but it is a pumpkin made out of an old book with its own little twig and a leaf which I haven't stuck down because I'm not sure how I'm going to store these for next year I'm probably going to fold it up and lie it flat and I didn't know if these would get in the way so I haven't stuck them down but I've kind of just plumped them on the top with a little bit of like a rattan looking string as a little bow so yes I had a few books that I was going to take to the charity shop and I saw this idea and I thought well why not just recycle them and make a pretty kind of autumn decorations so. this took a while obviously I have three we have a very very big one over there then we have this little medium one and then we have this little baby one the big one is what I actually did first I didn't know it was going to be that large when you do the little stencil to then cut out each page the stencil is quite small but obviously when you actually open the whole book up it makes a huge pumpkin it's a lot bigger than what is originally thought so that took about three hours altogether because it was the first one that I made and when I did this one and the smaller one I kind of knew what I was doing so it took a little less time they're not perfect some areas have like more gaps than others I keep having to try and like space them out but again I don't care that they're not perfect I made them which I think is really cool I'll show you bitty baby one which is very cute this one has a kind of darker leaf to it quite a large twig So yeah, I think they are going to make a really cute autumn decoration. Something a little different. Something a little rustic, I think. And I think they're going to look, they are going to go on my coffee table, I think, either like that or in a row from big to smallest. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, they're going to go on my coffee table. I think they're really cute. I might as well show you what is on this side. These are new for this year. I brought these quite a while ago, actually. These were out quite early in B&M's again. And I can't remember how much they were, but I think they were roughly like eight pounds five pounds five pounds three pounds something along those lines and again they're pumpkin for halloween but they are cutesy pumpkin 
So they have little, you can't really see, but they have little speckles on them. brand new for this year. These, these and the other item I'll show you in a sec are the only new things that I've bought this year for autumn or Halloween. I have a lot of more Halloween decorations for like a Halloween party I guess and I just do not need any more Halloween stuff um, and to be honest I don't really need that much more autumn stuff either. very simple and yeah only a couple of new bits this year I like the way these tap so yes those are the other new items flower is a two pound. I bought something else and then I bought these and I thought that couldn't equivalent to four pound. So I looked at the receipt and these hadn't gone through. He had scanned them but it hadn't actually registered on the till. So I got these for free <laughs> accidentally. Um, but yes, I didn't pay for these. So I was obviously meant to get them 
because I didn't get them the day before. I still didn't even know the price. Went to get them the next day, didn't really care how much they were going to be and didn't even get charged for them. So, But these are going to go on my TV unit along with these two. So very excited to use these. I have already used them in my room but I'm looking forward to decorating my living room with them. Very, very happy that I got them. Also for the living room are these which I have had for a good few years now. You probably will have seen. And these are just autumn leaf fairy lights. I think they do flash also. And I have in my living room like two radiator covers and one is bigger than the other one and these I always put on one of them and the other one's always left out I always have to put some other fairy lights on there so I did for the past couple of years mean to get round to buying another set of these and just never have until I went to the pound shop and they had some in the pound shop. They're not exactly the same. These ones are a lot more realistic. These ones are quite cheap and fake looking, but I don't think you'll be able to necessarily tell the difference once they are at each end of the room on their radiator cover. So. Um, I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do in the living room. Those two, these, those fairy lights and some of the other pumpkins I've already showed you. And that's going to be about it. And obviously these on the coffee table. But very autumnal, very orangey. And yeah, that's going to be about it. Very simple, but I don't mind. I want to keep it very simple. One last thing I have to show you, which I'm not sure where this is going to go. I might just use this for when we have a little um, Halloween party. Um, but it is a little light to which you can't really see it lit up because the ring light shining on it. But it has a green stalk. Is that what you call that stalk? a purchase made last year just after Halloween from Aldi's and I actually saw these in Aldi's and they were about eight pounds nine pounds and I just didn't really want to pay that then we went to Tesco's last year to try and get some fireworks however they don't sell them after seven o'clock and it was after seven o'clock so we ended up going to Aldi's to get our fireworks and this was in there on the sale for like £3.50 so it was brought last year but never used because it was after Halloween so it will be used this year but I think I will keep it for when we have a little um, Halloween party and some snacks and play some music and stuff like that and it can just sit somewhere really cute so but yes that is everything I have to show you it's not much but that is what I am happy with this year I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again very soon